Now let's move to the good old state of Kansas, where you don't think of a lot of big time high school football recruits, but there is one there. And we have followed the progress of Dylan Edwards from Kansas State commit to decommitting to picking the University of Notre Dame. From there, it, it seems like every time I see a post about Dylan Edwards, he's scoring like five touchdowns in a game. When he doesn't score five, it's like possibly. a disappointment. Yeah, right? sir. Six last week. So, yeah, maybe oh, if he would have gotten five, would have been. Stuff. They dropped okay. 70 points just on a whim. I mean, he was the Gatorade player of the year in Kansas in 2021. I mean, I would assume he would get it again this year. I mean, he's probably got better stats than last year. Yeah. Like, the young man is simply electric. So, and I also want to throw in this was not on our topic list Jaden Greathouse, um, a, a wide receiver from Texas who's committed to Notre Dame and kind of our weekly who's. Uh, who's coming after the Notre Dame commits segment. I mean, it's, I, and this is my fourth recruiting cycle cover Notre Dame. I've never, it's never been like this hmm. with other schools coming after Notre Dame's commits. And I think a large part of that is because Notre Dame signing a great class and other schools really want their kids. You know, like I think that's a huge part of it. So Edwards, formerly a Kansas state commit, as you mentioned, Darren, I see you jotting down notes. I'm like, well, here comes a follow up after this. Am I, yeah. am I right? Yeah. Well, you tease great house, so I was kind of curious who's after him, but we'll Can, continuing on. Yeah, uh, it's just great radio. Um, but yeah, Edwards was supposed to visit Notre Dame from what I was told, and then ended up at Kansas State. Got that intel right before the Notre Dame game. So it's like everyone's like, oh my gosh, we're losing our minds. I'm like, guys, calm down. I didn't even know what the deal was at that point. She's like, calm down. You know, he wasn't able to make it to Notre Dame and uh, his buddies, Avery Johnson, a quarterback commit for Kansas State. And it was his birthday weekend. So he went over. I don't even think his, his parents didn't even go to the game. Um, and his dad played at Kansas State. Um, so there's I'm told Notre Dame sources and cl people close to Edwards say he's totally fine. But I just want to mention because maybe you saw on Twitter that a hey, Edwards is at Kansas State or you saw on our message board. No concern here. I mean, maybe a little bit of concern ju just because it's recruiting I and mean, who the heck knows, but otherwise um, not supposed to be any concern. And then I mentioned Peyton Bowen, Notre Dame safety commit earlier in the show, is visiting Texas this weekend. So is Jaden Greathouse from Austin, Texas. Wake, uh, excuse me, Westlake. A couple things to mention. He is from Austin, and I think all of his family is Texas fans. So it was absolutely expected that he was going to go to Texas at some point this fall. But – there seems to be confidence from like Texas reporters that there's more to see here. Great house. Didn't get to go to Notre Dame for the Clemson game because of weather. Um, his flight got canceled. A lot of people's flight got canceled. Like Bryant young and his kid, Bryce young, the class of 2024 defense alignment. They were supposed to come up from North Carolina. Their flight got canceled. So like, this is, this is just happening. So it's like, Oh, he's didn't go to Notre Dame. Now he's going to Texas. I, I personally, I don't think there's a whole lot to read into here that he's going to Texas and maybe flits. I think he already picked Notre Dame over Texas once. And I don't see him, you know, changing his mind on that, but just because it is happy, like he is going to Texas this weekend and Longhorns reporters do think there's more to see than me on this. I, I, I did want to mention it, but I don't know. I, I'm, I'm optimistic about Notre Dame's chances here. Okay. See, I don't have to ask the question. There you go. You have everything. I won't right. I'll stop taking notes. I had written down here, what do you think of the Irish hockey 2023 class so far? But we'll save that for another week because I got to talk about another Bowen for a second. Drake Bowen, who's like taking out all the high school teams in my area, yeah. which is Andrean football team. And let me just say this first off, just watching a little video of him, he looks like he could step on the field and help Notre Dame right now physically. I don't know about his football IQ, but – Physically, he looks the part of a guy that could suit up and play linebacker for Notre Dame right now, and you wouldn't even blink knowing not knowing the fact that he's still a high school football player. Well, before we started recording, you know, we were talking about a Bowen, and he's listed at 6'1 half, 233 pounds. He's about the size of Notre Dame's upperclassmen linebackers right now. Um, he's got 10 pounds on even Jack Kaiser. So it's like – he, I mean, he, he is, he's looked the part since like his junior season, like as someone who could be playing college ball right now, I know he's not playing, you know, a big time ball in Indiana class two a, but 
you know, his schedule and the competition they play is not Indiana 2A. So, yeah, they played schools with like triple, quadruple the amount of students. So here are his stats through 12 games. 115 tackles, 13 of those for loss, three sacks, three passes broken up, three forced fumbles, a fumble recovery, a blocked punt. That's pretty good, Darren. We can just stop there, right? No, no. How about he also plays on uh, on offense at running back? 157 carries for 1,104 yards, <laughs> 19 touchdowns, and he's also got nine receptions for 216 yards and three scores. 22 touchdowns and also 115 tackles. I mean, the dude, this segment is just the Drake Bowen appreciation third, especially <laughs> when we talk about, you know, the Notre Dame commits who are making you sweat because they're visiting other schools. The face of the class committed to Notre Dame very early, you know, doesn't get a ton of fanfare right now, just outside of his outstanding high school performances. You know, we, we don't spend a lot of time talking about Drake Bowen. I'd also throw um, Notre Dame defensive line commit Brennan Vernon in that category as well. But I mean, the offers I, I, I when he, before he committed to Notre Dame, Ohio state, LSU, Clemson, Oregon, I mean, just a long, long list of schools that were after him. One of my favorite recruits I've been able to interact with, just how he carries himself. Um, someone who has taken up that mantle of the leader of the 2023 class. Remember, Notre Dame still doesn't have a quarterback commit in that cycle, so you have to ask somebody. It's Ben Bowen, but that's not really him. Like He's not that kind of guy who's like, yeah, like let me get that uh, kind of spotlight. He just wants to do his, his job as a linebacker, right? And just kind of be low key, but he knows that someone has to be that kind of face of the class and he's stepping up and done that. Um, so kudos to you, Drake Bowen. I'm a big fan. I am really going, he, he's the sleeper pick right now to be my, you know, that Joe Walt of this class, my favorite recruit that I'm putting my stamp of approval on. Usually I don't go for a big time player like Bowen, but you know, I'm just so excited about him. Great. And he's kid. got a great, player. wonderful baseball swing too. Yeah, I think he's gonna play Irish baseball. So how about yeah? He looks. He looks I've looks, seen him play. Good. I've seen him play. He came and played in Atlanta, in summer twenty twenty one. Got to see him. It's a good player. Good player.